with another wash and go video. What's different from this video than my previous video is that this time I used to cleanse and condition, I used Innersense Hydrating Hair Bath. And for the conditioner to detangle and condition, I used the Color Radiance, uh, Color Radiance Daily Conditioner. And I still use the Uncle Funky's Curl Stimulator as my base gel. And I'm still going to use the I Create Hold for my topper. So the reason I, I'm doing this video is because I thought that when I use the Innersense versus the AG Naturals, that I would pretty much get the same feel or results with my hair. But I noticed right away when I was shampooing that my hair, the shampoo got sudsier. And I like the way it made my hair feel um, versus the AG Naturals. Not that the AG Naturals had a bad feeling, but for me, to my hands, this just had a better feeling. And when I used the conditioner with it, I thought it was easier to comb through and detangle my hair. So I think for my routine going forward that I may use the Innersense for three weeks out of a month and then the one month the one week a month where i do my extra cleansing shampoo then i'll follow that up maybe with the ag naturals and do that for my extra cleansing day because i really like like i said how my hair feels with the inner sense but we'll see uh so yeah that's that's my update for using these two products uh, I really encourage you that if you are interested in these products is to subscribe to the mailing list of AG Naturals and the mailing subscriber list of Innersense or Uncle Funkies because every now and then, like any company, they have 50% off or 30% off or buy one, get one free sale. So that would be the time where I would purchase and stock up on their products because they're really good, high quality products, but they are a little pricier than usual so that's how i've saved with uh, these different products is waiting for a sale and then like this is the small bottle but <clears throat> as you can see like for example with this one this is the 12 ounce but this is the next step up so when they have a sale had a sale that's when i got the bigger size make sense So now I'm gonna style my hair. Where's my comb? Uh, should I leave my part here this time just to see how it... I think I'm gonna leave. You know, I'm usually a deep part girl, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my part right here this time. See how it goes. I gotta tell you, one of the things I love too is before I uh, learned the technique for wash and go, when I wash my hair and it would look like this, I would wonder, now how come it looks like this drenched in the shower, but then when I get out and do my hair, it's like frizzy and poofy. So it's nice to learn how to retain your hair's natural curl and wave pattern, how to set it so it stays. So I really appreciate that about um the tips from I am black girl curls and the see some curls resource is just learn how to do what your hair does and love your hair which I do so let my uh, I create hold so here we go putting this on now like I said the uncle funkies is already in my hair One of the main reasons this is referred to as a topper gel, 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 I'm Southern, gel <laughs> is because you put it on top. So when you're applying the base gel in the shower, you try to saturate it through and through your hair, but the base gel, you kind of just put, put on top of that. So, and then as I go through and I feel like I need more in certain places, then I add more. See how it's? Weighing my hair down a bit more and elongating these waves or curls or tight coilies or whatever you want to call them. Yay.
And another thing I love about the wash and go is that you have the waves from the rooty to the tootie, the root to the tip. So even after you dry your hair in a few days when you see uh, the progress through the days, which I think I like um, doing the, the day by day video so y'all can see how my hair holds up throughout the week, living real life, exercising, going out in this Southern humidity and such. Wait a second. All right. this time I am taking the time to rake through the back more because there is a difference in that um, it elongates my hair more so when I put it on the dryer and set it then it starts out lower um, where it has to shrink up as the week goes on if that makes sense. One of my goals is to grow out the center part. This is my trouble spot in my hair. See how it's a lot shorter. And it's a little coarser than the rest of my hair. So I wanna grow that out the middle of my hair more. is such an interesting thing because look my hair is past clavicle length back here but shrinkage hair to me means healthy hair so I'll take it and this side of my hair seems to be thicker which is the right side of my hair than the left side, even when I apply product. That's why I part my hair on this side usually because this side is fuller. But when I apply product, I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video how this side was poofier than this side. So this side's the finer side of my hair. 
but I'm sure many of you have three or four different textures in your hair. That's very normal. edges down now so they can sit under the dryer with the rest of your hair and you don't have to worry about them later. Put some extra hold right here since it's right at the top where my part is. Now this is one of the first parts of my hair to start like shrinking and poofing up. You get this product in your hand and your hands get slippery and the bottle gets more slippery. Falls over. Now I do like the way the AG Naturals smells better than the Inner Sense, honestly. Let's shake it out. Sit in the dryer for at least an hour. I'll keep you updated on my hair progress this week. All right, this is day two. As you can see, there is no frizz, but there's plenty of definition. I slept in a satin bonnet, and in the morning, of course, your hair is smushed, so I fluffed it. Did some of this, some of this. And as far as the definition, you can see it's through and through, which I love. Day two. I'll see you on day three. All right, so this is day three here. I did get a buff. What's a buff? Guess I'll explain it another time, but it's basically like a tube of fabric. And 
I put it on my hair and I slept on it and it does your hair like this. I didn't think it would work for me because people that I've seen use the buff, their hair is about here, their natural hair. So I thought my hair might be too short for it, but I love it. I still have plenty of definition. I still don't have frizz yet. Day three wash and go. So I'm loving how this product combo along with the technique is working on my hair this week. What I like about the buff, when I wear the satin bonnet, it kind of like smushes your hair up around here like that. But with the buff, since it kind of brings all your hair up like this, it it doesn't smush, smush my curls around here. So I really love that. Really love my new part situation. And uh, I'll also put the link for this dress below if you were interested in learning more about it. And hmm, what else? That's the only thing I did differently than I usually do is I use the buff instead of the satin bonnet. And so hair's still moving. So I'll let you know how we're doing for day four. Trying to make it to day 10 this time, but we'll see what happens. Usually I'm uh, starting over by day seven, but we'll see how my hair is doing this week and make it uh, last as long as I can stand. Have a great day. Day three. So yesterday I spent at least two hours doing yard work. We were planting our garden. So two hours in the Southern humidity and the heat, it was like 79 degrees. So sweating, humidity, this, this is my hair. Still definition, got a little bit of, little bit of frizz, but it's not even really frizz frizz. If I get close for you to see, we still got plenty of definition. Definition, see that's frizzy frizzy, but still definition, right? This side, definition under here, through here, top of here. I did uh, still uh, slept in the um, the buff uh, head cap, the buff uh, a buff, not the buff, but it's a like a cylindrical piece of like a elastic knit type of thing that you can put on your head to sleep in. So that's what I used. I like it. I like I like how that's uh, doing my hair because it doesn't make my hair smush up. And uh, I may post a video. Comment below if you want me to uh, post a video about uh, how the, the buff thing works. Uh, you've heard probably Aisha mention it if you follow I Am Black Girl Curls is that's what uh, she used. So yeah, comment below. Definitely like and subscribe, right? If you want to uh, encourage more content and thank you for watching. Oh, here's another thing. I don't retwist my hair at night, right? I just tie it up, go to sleep, wake up, take it down, do some of this. Do some of this and just so I'm satisfied and then as the day goes on it'll it'll do what it does oh and another thing yesterday we went out to the plant store so the wind was blowing through my hair along with the heat and the humidity so those are some other factors that played a role in me living real life with my wash and go have a great day Hello, hope you're having a great day. This is actually day five hair. I was <laughs> I was rewatching my videos and realized that I I did day three twice. So I thought after doing all that yard work that day, I was actually on day four. So this is day five. I did my hair on Thursday and this is Monday. So this is my day five. I want you all 
to have such success with your wash and goes and how it progresses through the week through the week with the definition and the phrase i want y'all's hair to look look so good that y'all get your days confused too that you think it's been less days than it has been but this is day five like i said before i live in southern alabama so we have a lot of heat a lot of humidity but we still have definition still got definition along with the frizz How does, it, how does it look at the back? See, see the back? Day five. The previous one was day four. So I'll see you on day six, which is tomorrow with my progress for day six. <laughs> what are we on now? Day six? Day six hair. More frizz. Of course, more shrinkage. But still definition, right? My day six, I'm not sure. I go back and forth. I'm excited to try this new um, curly hair custard that I got. So I might wash my hair uh, this evening which would be day six and redo it, or I might leave it for a couple more days. So we'll see how I feel. So this might be day six, might be the last day just on this round, just because of my personal preference. But if there's a day seven and a day eight, then you will see it. This is day seven, this many? Seven. I did go uh, jogging yesterday, did a 30 minute run. And we see, this is the end for me. I'm not going to day eight, nine or 10 this week because uh, I have my meeting on Zoom tonight and I want my hair to be fresh and new looking for, uh, for that. But if I wanted to, cause I still do have a teens of definition I could go a couple of more days but this is how my hair did seven days uh, earlier I mentioned what I did like a two-hour yard work day out in the southern humidity sweat yesterday jogging out in the real heat and humidity and sweating and this is still the results of my hair which I'm pleased with so today is gonna be wash hour I'm gonna uh, restyle my hair and carry on with my week so I hope this was helpful to you please uh, like and subscribe if you found the information useful and comment below about what helped you about this video and thank you so much for watching have a great day